Hi, it's Sunday morning and we want to make some uh, Mexican food. So, I've already made the rice and the taco meat and grated the cheese. As you can see when I turn the camera around like this. No, how do you turn it around? Let's see. Da, 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 da. Well, I guess I'll do it that way. There we see taco meat. Yeah. And Spanish rice, uh, which I will do in a different video. This is about enchilada sauce. So we start with a nice warm skillet. It's on medium and hot water ready to go. Ta -da. And here we go. Um, we're, I got some flour and butter. And measurements aren't the biggest thing to do worry about, so uh, I'll show you why. I want to make enough for about a pan of enchiladas. Uh, let's see, a pan. Oh, maybe that size. So you want plenty of sauce. Okay, we got some flour here. And we take, oh, exactly that much, and put it in the pan. Not a very careful measurement, you noticed, okay. And now uh, the pan is hot, so it's gonna brown. So we are gonna brown the flour that adds to the flavor. Need my spatula. See, it's hot, it's browning already. Basically here, all we're doing is making the roux uh, thickener. And the toasted flour gives it a uh, flavor. So that's why we toast it. Plus, you don't want raw flour oh, in your food, which would require a lot of boiling and stuff. So here, it's, you gotta keep an eye on it because it can scorch really easy. Cast iron is excellent for this. Uh, it retains heat and it just browns nicely. But it, you can do it in any frying pan. Well, it's getting browner. You want a nice tan color. Take a little bit here. And roll it off. And we're, we're killing some time here. This is now the reason you don't have to worry so much about measurements is because we're making it. Uh, we start with a thickener and we add the hot water until we get the consistency that we're after. And usually it's plenty if you start with enough flour. If you're just starting, you might hold back some of the roux because if you didn't quite make enough roux and you want to thicken it up some more, you shouldn't have to worry about that if you just go along with uh, thickening it as you need it, adding water as you need it. Uh, the flour is getting nice and toasty. I'm gonna have to add some. I like real butter. Real butter. Ta-da! Real butter. There's like a half a thing. Let's set this down so I can unwrap it. There we go. Here's my ceiling. Oh! Take the duck butter. Unwrapping it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, my fingers don't work this early in the morning. How much better do you ask? Well, 
keep stirring that stuff. You want enough butter. You can use margarine. You want enough butter to absorb all of the flour. See that brown color we got there? That's kind of what we're looking for. Not burnt, not scorched, merely brown. And you just keep adding margarine until, until all your flour is absorbed. There we go. That should be plenty. Yay. Get into the good part. So here we go. Essentially, we have this goop. And maybe a bit too much butter. Perfect. All right. Now we add our hot water. Kind of a little at a time. Take your whip. That's definitely too thick. So we add some more water. Still too thick. Oh, wife wants to help. Or not. Hello, wife, helping? <laughs> helping wife? Okay, you gonna film this? Okay. Well, it's kind of hard to film because you can't, it's not two sided. She's helping. Okay, I can, I can almost see me. I can see. All right, now I'm spinning it down. Oh. Add the water gradually. Keep stirring so you don't get any lumps. We're looking for a gravy consistency. So there, we have made glue. Pretty much. A little bit thick. Remember, you can boil it down if it's too thin. Now for this much sauce, we'll want approximately. Where's the chili powder? Okay, chili powder. Oh, like yay. Paprika, a little less, mostly for color. Camino for flavor. Well, a little less than the paprika. It's pretty strong stuff. That's what gives it the Mexican flavor, if you ask me. And of course, some garlic. Exactly that much. No more, no less. Now we start stirring it. This is pretty thick. Check what? Yeah, you're fine. And voila. Voila. Okay. And this is kind of an extra big batch of uh, sauce here. So I'm going to add just a a little bit more chili powder just for make it look better. Okay. And of course, um, 
some salt. Don't go crazy, you can always add salt. And some pepper. Not too much, just a little bit. There you go. And voila. It's supposed to be a little bit bland because the taco meat has taco seasoning and the cheese and everything that gives it flavor. So you, I'm going to test it. Perfect. Easy peasy. And that's it. Shut it off. That's it.